I feel fine. I just don't really understand what's wrong. No, I'm not hot. I'm not sweaty. Throat is fine. No cough. No runny nose. I don't get it. I just, I don't understand why. Poss, short for possibly. Yeah, it's possible there's something wrong with me mentally. I'll probably have to get a second opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Yeah. I love you too. Bye. It's weird that he said I love you. More weird that I said it back. Well, I don't have any symptoms and the doctor doesn't have a diagnosis for me, so I guess I'm just gonna have to accept reality. I saw a Netflix movie that I actually enjoyed. A classic horror story is the newest exclusive, I believe, to hit Netflix. Maybe it's not an exclusive. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't even give him the credit here. I think it is though. I saw a little bit of the trailer with my wife a couple nights ago and we were a little taken by it. So we thought, all right, let's give it a shot. It's a, it's a horror movie, which always sounds like I'm saying a horror movie. Either way, I'm cool. Either way, I'm fine with it. We jumped in. I will warn you right out of the gates. It's a foreign film, so there is subtitles. Although I do think you can get the English dubbed version, but I don't, I don't roll that way. I don't like English dubbed versions. I went with the reading. Uh, I did not notice it. After 10 minutes, not even. I, I, didn't, I didn't care. It, there's not a ton of dialogue. It, it's very visual. There's a, there's a lot going on. It's kind of a mind game-ish thriller slash horror. I don't want to give anything away on this movie because there is a big mystery element to it. And it reminds me of a lot of other films. You know, it's got the Midsommar stuff going on. It's got, you know, Texas Chainsaw. And if I really go into details of why or if I say anything else, I'm going to spoil stuff. So I'm going to keep it mum in case you're actually going to watch this thing. Now, I will also say this. I looked on IMDb and this thing's currently sitting at like 5.7 or 5.9. Uh, so it's not getting like praised. It's very much my opinion and not a overall consensus. You know, critics aren't agreeing with me or I should say the, the audience isn't fully agreeing with me on this one. It runs quick. It's only an hour and 35 minutes long. Doesn't have cheap jump scares. I don't think there's even one. It, it's got the psychological angle to it. You're thinking while you're watching it. You're wondering how things are happening, how they are. It doesn't have too many, too many frustrating character moments or decisions. There are some where I, I thought to myself like, really, dude, you're going to do this right now. It does have some of it. I won't deny that. Although I can't give stuff away, but there's there's a lot of explanation for the reasons why things are happening the way they are too. The reason why people do the things they do. There is an explanation. So when it's done, it will be less frustrating and it's actually something you could watch again. I could watch it again and see the film from an entirely different lens, which is a which is a pun, but also true. I'm not Italian, so it's hard for me to judge if the acting's good in this based on how they're saying things, but visually they look like they were doing a good job acting i believed that they were in dire straits i believe the situation was was pretty grim i didn't see any of the moments happening before they did it kept me on my toes there is some gore there's definitely some gore for for those that want to see that not a lot but there there's one or two parts where i was like oh my god this is this is aggressive so it's not for the faint of stomach after an extended period of absolute trash being piled out onto Netflix, this was a breath of fresh air for me. This one stuck the landing. Now, again, I apparently am in the minority a little bit based on that score. I'm a little disappointed by it. I think that there's probably a lot of people that didn't appreciate it the way I did or fully understand what it was doing. Or maybe I'm just, you know, copying out to having bad taste here. I don't know. My wife liked it too. I recommend it, give it a shot, especially if you're, you know, looking for something scary or something that gets your stomach churning a little bit. I think this will do the job for you. If you're a parent wondering if your kid can watch it, absolutely not. This is too gory, it's too graphic. I mean, some kids are more mature than others, but I would say hold off until they're at least 13 for this one. If I were to give this an arbitrary score, I would say eight out of 10, dear heads. Please let me know if you saw it in the comments, if I'm way off base or if I'm spot on with this one. Like the video if you thought I did a good job providing you with a review. And think about subscribing to the channel because I'm posting content constantly. It's getting pretty wild over here on Adam Does Movies. Thank you again for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to Adam Does Movies if you haven't already. You can check out my second channel, Adam Olinger, where I talk about non-movie related stuff. 
in a very stupid low-key way i'm also on twitch at adam olinger you can find me on tiktok at adam does movies and you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash you guessed it adam does movies